Hello, Hi. welcome back to the Mom Zooey. We thought it would be kind of a fun little change up to answer some of your guys' questions. So today is all going to be about Twitter Q&A. And Instagram. And not knowing what's coming up. Because <laughs> they haven't read through all of the questions. I haven't read so any like, of them. <laughs> I hope they get I hope they get a little edgy. Um, <laughs> this I did peek at the first one and it's pretty hilarious. So do we have updates? Do you guys want to go into updates? Your lives are boring, whatever. Let's just go into this. <laughs> That's like, what do I have going on? Nothing. <laughs> mm, it's that time of year. It's like the lull. You guys are the skiing lull a lot. after Christmas, yeah. yeah. Skiing a lot. The kids are finally back in school, so I don't have to teach ducks <laughs> anymore. I can actually go skiing. And you're like, yes. I feel like I've just been cleaning and my house is still not clean. I know. Like, it's so I don't rude. even know what's happening. I feel right like now. I need a good purging of my home. Yes. yes. I know. Like, I want to become a minimalist. Yes. I just n- am not a minimalist. Download that. <laughs> Download that. I know because, well, here's how I minimize. I like clean and declutter and go through things and then I go shopping and I'm like, new things. I know. I know that too. <laughs> it's the worst. I, you know what I actually do is I think I'm going to get rid of my old things and then I go shopping and I get new things and I don't get rid of my old things <laughs> yeah. and then I'm just a mess. Like, I saw a quote like um, someone said, I always thought I was unorganized. The truth is I just have too much stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that is my... That's I am true. organized, but I have a lot of stuff that I'm like... Or the worst thing is, like, when you think you're going to use something. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to use this. I'll use it. And then you put it somewhere, and then <laughs> yeah, you five years later, it. you're like, why I did never I save this it. turkey T-bone? What was I going <laughs> to use this for? I it's have like rotting. Like old cans and, like, candle... Empty candles, because <laughs> oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to make a craft out of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have I a junkyard. <laughs> That will be our like our goal for January is to purge the home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jackson's like starting to, to feel like that too. <laughs> what else to do? Get your orders. husband on board because now like Jackson's been talking about it. I'm like, yes, someone will help me. <laughs> I have to do it by myself. There is a show on Netflix called The Minimalist, and I watched it, and Casey watched it, and it was really? yeah, it was good. Um, because it is something that I want to do, but they also talked about like, um, using the same te- techniques with social media. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I need to do that too. Like, like just. Just not spending so much time, like, yes. just, like... It sucks you in. It does. I was listening to that podcast or that book. It was, like, The Art of Cleaning Up yeah. or Tidying Up. And she was saying how, like, it's, like, scientifically proven, like, your life quality improves mm-hmm. when you are, like, surroundings mm-hmm. and everything is in a place where you feel good about it or, like, yeah. you feel like it's clean and it looks good. And I'm like, that's so true. I'm in a way better mood. Yeah. I feel like I started doing that before the holidays. I had literally 10 giant garbage bags of... Goodwill stuff. Yeah. And it was so awesome. And now, like, after Christmas, I'm like, I need to do it again. Yes. <laughs> Especially after Christmas. I feel so embarrassed that Cooper got so many things. Like, there's things in boxes. So I've been, like, wrapping them up and just, like, taking them down to, mm-hmm. like, our little home. I forgot what it's called. Aids for Friends. Right. And, like, coats and stuff. Because I'm like, he'll never know. Yeah. He'll never know. So. Well, and he, you know, he has so yeah. much family. Yes. He has six sets of grandparents. Right. So he can't help it, but yeah. I'm like, this just needs to happen. <laughs> we have right. so much. So, okay. That's a good, that's a good update guys. I feel yes. good about that. Yes. Cleaning our lives, getting organized. Get getting your lives stuff. together. <laughs> okay. So we're going to be answering some of your guys' questions on Twitter. Do you have any on Instagram? Um, I have a Twitter one and then I will have an Instagram. Okay, so it's coming from the social meds of moms, you social meds. <laughs> um, this first one is from Sarah Cromb. She asks, playground etiquette. Is this for moms or for kids? Because <laughs> there's two different ways we can handle this yes. one. I I remember the first time like my mama bear came out. We were at a playground. It was like this nice sunny day, and I felt like oh, I'm such a good mom. Cooper's like dressed and his hair's combed, and He's we're dressed. Like, That's a good yeah. Thing, right? <laughs> if their pants are matching their shirt, you're like oh yeah, winning. <laughs> And I just felt like, you know, you feel like that moment of like, hi, my mom, I'm doing this. And then this little boy pushed Cooper like off the end of the slide. And it was just like, <laughs> pulled out the war paint and I was going in for it. And I was like, we don't push people off slides. Like got all crazy. And then I was like, dial it back, Carly, dial it back. <laughs> But I felt like there is like, that's a good way. That's like kind of a good question because I do feel like there are those hovering moms who like, mm-hmm. your kid won't even be doing anything. And they're hovering over your child, telling them like what to do, how to play. And you're like... You need to get in your own speed lane there, girl, right. you know? <laughs> but, like, playground for etiquette for moms and then playground etiquette for kids. I feel like I'm a hovering mother over my children. When we go to parks or when we've ever gone to parks, I'm so scared of someone stealing them mm-hmm. yeah. that I'm just, like, following oh, yeah. them everywhere they go. And Kaylee has a taser. She's like, don't mess. <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> but I feel like I have done that. I haven't really, like, let my kids go and play because I'm scared of someone stealing them, them falling, like... <laughs> 
Well, it's when you're not been, looking like, or something like, that happens. Mom, like, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I just want to write down the slide too all together. Yeah. Okay, come on. And so I feel like that's also isolated them. So I feel like our playground etiquette is like just private. Like we play with ourselves over here and we're just like in this group and that's it. And we're just sad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like good. I should just let them play. You can never be too safe these days. And that's actually the real sad thing. Yeah, you know? It is true. Because mm-hmm. it's like that one time you're not hovering or doing something and then they get hurt or a kid pushes them off the end of the slide and then you're like, I'm the worst mom ever. <laughs> well, and you're not the worst mom ever. Kids no. play. Yeah. And yeah. I remember in California, that used to be the thing. Like you would go to the park mm-hmm. and have play dates and sometimes it would be planned and sometimes you would just meet random people and yeah. your kids would end up playing. And I feel like I try to be the parent that I just kind of sit back and watch them play but I always make sure I know where they are of course um but I had this one time where it was like this older kid was just fascinated with I think it was I think it was either Daxton no it was probably Brock when he was more of a toddler Mm -hmm. and you know he's toddling around the playground I'm watching him a little bit closer because he can hurt himself a lot easier or they climb up stuff and it's like you can't get down yeah. (laughs) yeah or walk by the swings and he was just like hovering over him. And I was like, okay, well, he's, he's being nice. But then he started to get aggressive with him, like kind of yelling in his face. What? And I was like, this is not okay. And I was looking for his parents and I'm like, where is his mom? And so in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm trying not to be a hover parent, but you need to know what your kid's doing, yes. right? And I was like, I don't want to have to scold her child but I'm not going to let him do that. So I just, you know, I went up to him and I'm like, um, he really doesn't like when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I collect it's like, see, I get all the excited. But you know, like, how do you handle stuff like that? I, I don't. I feel like I black out and then I like come back and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> like, I love funny. you so much. And though. I feel like I'm so, I am really relaxed. I'm not the hover. I like will be the one on my phone, like sitting and texting. And Cooper usually is pretty good at problem solving. But there have been a couple of times where... I feel like I've had to get more involved with other parents being like, we just came to chill and to play. Like, let's all just relax. And if we, like, if we're in your space, we'll move, you know, mm-hmm. just because it's, I remember this mom was like bossing Cooper around. She's like, no, you need to play this game with him. And I was like, what? Uh, no, he doesn't. Like, <laughs> he doesn't need to do anything. So I think that's a good question because we need playground etiquette for moms. And then obviously, the, also, I think the worst thing is when there's those parents who think their kids do no wrong. Mm-hmm. And you're like, your kid is literally building a grenade and you're not going to say anything. Right. Like, <laughs> let's stop this war before or it starts. Or yelling in my child's face. Yeah. And you're not going to say anything. He really doesn't like <laughs> that. And he's like, one. Like, he can't defend himself. He's just like, like, what? Like he was. He was just like, what the heck? My brothers and sisters don't even do this to me. Brooke's like, he's an angry elf. <laughs> He's an That's funny. Elf. Okay, <laughs> so moving on. This one's from at Meg Webster eight two nine. She asks, most embarrassing thing your child has said in public. <laughs> your worst failed dinner. How to host guests with children. So maybe if you I guys want to. I never host anything. <laughs> what? You always host yeah, the family yeah, stuff. I mean, just family birthday parties and stuff. You're I good guess. at it. But not like I never try to make like a nice dinner and. That's expect my kids yeah. to do or say certain things like I can. It's more fun. That I have way. a lot less expectations. I'm like, I wonder if I'm coming into a pizza party. Okay, it's gonna be wild <laughs> and crazy. Anything my kids do or say, just have no, <laughs> no mind. Wash I my hands. If it's like different where, like different places where you live, because yeah. I don't feel like I've ever been to a party, and I wouldn't want to take my kids to a party where we had to like sit down and be nice and like be proper, yeah. because I just don't feel like that would work. I feel like I'd be uncomfortable. Like. Yeah. I wouldn't want to, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like this is more just like show up and hang out. Just like chill. But then I guess it would be fun to get like dressed up in a dress. Yeah. I always dreamed of that one day. With a toddler though, like, yeah, right. I would be like on the floor in my dress (laughs) chasing him, (laughs) pulling him from under the table. And what about what like your kids have said in public or in like a group setting? Cooper told some of his teachers that he shaved my butt. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, whatever. (laughs) I have a hairy butt. He gets the good That's angle, you know. Hilarious. It was like it was he was in daycare. I think I've told this story before on the mom zoo, but he had gotten a fake remember. shaving kit for Christmas or his birthday or something. And so he was showering with me and he was like putting it on my thigh. It wasn't even my butt. And they were like, What did you do? And he's like, I can shave my mom's butt. And they were like, What? 
somehow in his little like toddler mind, it translated into him shaving my butt. Yeah, that's, that's so that I'm like, so and the worst thing is they didn't even tell me about it for a couple of days. Like, oh, Cooper said this thing the other day. I'm like, you let me walk in and out of here with you thinking that my child shaves my butt. People get called CPS these days for that, okay? I'm not some that's weird hairy so parent. Funny. <laughs> weird hairy And now parent. I look back, I'm like, that's hilarious. I wish he would tell people that now. That's my I tweet shave, for this I used episode. To shave my I mom's shave butt. my mom's butt. Carly's a weird hairy parent. <laughs> you look at my brothers and so you would funny. think, but oh my gosh, yeah. That's Casey so grows hair up to here on his face. <laughs> Kaylee and Casey were on the phone once, and she's like, "Yeah, make sure you shave under your eyeballs." I'm like, <laughs> "I'll send Cooper over. He can shave his butt <laughs> and his eyes <laughs> and his oh, eyes." That's so so funny. it wasn't really. I guess it wasn't public, but it was to like not when I was around to right. defend it, myself. I know that area. Yeah. I wonder what our kids say. I don't remember anything. I know my kids had to have said like embarrassing things. Yeah. yeah. But I cannot remember. I know Cooper said nipples one time or boobs or something. It was like, it was just like to him a body part. He was like, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, this lady at Walmart had a really like low, low cut shirt on. Mm -hmm. And Cooper was like sitting in the cart and he like leaned around. He's like, boobies, mom. And I was like... <laughs> Like, didn't want her to feel bad. I'm like, you do you, honey. You, like, let him hang out. I don't care. But Cooper was just, like, recognized Please. the body part. He was like, boobies! <laughs> that's a, I, that's the only one I can remember is Daxton was obsessed with the word boobies for a while. <laughs> and so he just kept saying it. Or he'd, like, put his hand on my boobies. And he was just so little that it was like, oh. But in public, it wasn't so, oh. Yeah. <laughs> or I love how he, the other day, he was saying shirt. And the kids oh, always make it. Because yeah. it sounds like he's saying S-H-I-T. And it's so yeah. funny to me because the other day he was, I was like, is this your shirt? Like, I was really legitimately trying to figure it out. And he's like, you just want me to say shirt. I have to say shirt all the time. Like, <laughs> he said it in his own way like that. Like, you want me to say it too? I was like, no, is this your shirt? That's, so, that's <laughs> funny. Cute. Yeah, they always tell him to say it because they think it's so hilarious. Yeah, and I'm like, stop it. <laughs> this one's from at Aaliyah Thor. She asks, self-love or ways to stay happy and positive in a negative world? Oh man, I feel like this is one you have to constantly work at. Yes. Yeah. I think it comes with the web and flow of your life too. Like there's been times in my life where it's really easy to stay happy and positive and I feel like I'm riding that what, like that high wave and then something will happen and it knocks you down and it feels like you're going to be stuck down there forever. But the good news is you're not. Like the sun will rise, you'll get through it and you actually will end up looking back at that time and being grateful and so I think that just like reminding yourself that you'll get through the hard times and that mm -hmm. you'll come out on top and that it's okay if you're not always like a ray of sunshine. Like you're allowed to yeah. feel happiness and sadness and go through those emotions. I think that's healthy. But where that, I don't know, I do agree. Like we are in a really negative world. I feel like I can't get on Twitter or Facebook without somebody complaining about something that's so little. And so I say just be that change you want to see. Be that positive light and reflect mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I feel like, I, I feel like this is a whole episode or like a series of episodes yeah. <laughs> just with what I feel like I've been learning about for myself lately. But I think in general, um, if you can imagine the way you talk to yourself and, um, talk to yourself as if you're talking to your best girlfriend or your best guy friend, you know, um, because we have such a tendency to know, drag ourselves down and bring ourselves down. But if you will consciously tell yourself things that you would tell, you know, somebody that you love so much, and especially when you're going through a hard time. Like, I think when we have, um, sometimes we have a hard time with giving ourselves love and compassion. Like, we think we need to be perfect. We think we need to feel a certain way. So we bring ourselves down even more by like, I'm not handling this okay. What's wrong with me? But if you give yourself compassion, say, it's okay. You're having a hard time right now. This is hard. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Like, talk to yourself as if you were talking to somebody that you love dearly and that you want to genuinely be okay. Um, that helps yourself realize, like, I'm human and I'm in the same boat as every other human being. You're not the only one going through horrible times. Um, and just be that best friend for yourself because really you're the one that matters the most. And when you can build yourself up, you're more able to build up other people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's might be the only person you have is yourself. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. So. And I think like along with that, like sometimes it takes looking in the mirror, I think, and like telling yourself those things. And yeah. that might seem weird and that might like feel really weird or awkward. 
but to like look at yourself in the eye and tell yourself those things like yeah. you are worth it you're important you deserve to be happy i think that in this world sometimes we feel guilty for being happy like yes. yeah. or you know people look at us like oh you're so happy your life is so great like no no one's life is perfect all the time no one is happy all the time but we all deserve happiness and we all mm -hmm. deserve to like find that and allow ourselves to feel that yeah, yeah. And you know, one thing that I've learned um, over the past year is like when we deny ourselves when we're feeling hurt or pain, when we kind of push it aside or bury it, we're also doing that when we're feeling joys. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we squash our emotions, even in the really great times. We like tell ourselves it's too good to be true or we, we feel like we can't feel this way. So it's important to allow yourself to feel all your emotions and forgive them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Just eat more chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate always helps. You know, so does soda. Yeah. <laughs> so does that, a lot that of Netflix. That goes into my question. Uh, can I, are we done yeah, with Yeah, we're done. Tag Team Did Colette. We? I don't even remember what the next part was of that question. Okay, Ash Nuga says, guilty pleasures, reality TV, chocolate, teen magazines. All the things. I just love a good long bathtub where I can be on my phone and no one's talking to me. <laughs> I love just my wait. husband. Enjoy that for now because then you'll have like a baby knocking. Well, not yeah. even that. I have Amigo and Diego, my dogs. They just lay by my bath and fart bomb in there. And they just stare at you like, I can't even enjoy a nice bath and just smells like butthole dog. <laughs> dog butthole. I said that backwards. And I'm like, can I just get a fart free environment? <laughs> with no boys, Please? no wieners, no talking, just me on my phone doing who even knows what. Scrolling through Instagram. I want to be a scroll troll in my bath with nobody farting and talking to me. Oh. I love to take a bath and like check all my pregnancy updates. Yeah. Like that's what I usually do. Like what is happening with my body right now? It's always so <laughs> But then insane. Winston always comes in like ripping his clothes off. Like, Ma, I came in though. how could you come in here without me? Know, like, Ma. I don't know. I love me a good bath and like a good bath bomb and a soda. I mean water <laughs> in the bath. I mean, water with lemon. I mean, I just sure. put my straw in my water and I drink the bath water. <laughs> you and Winston, Winston's always like. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> He's so cute. Don't drink the bath water, sicko. <laughs> um, I like chocolate. I love reality TV. Like The Bachelor just turned back up. I love to watch TV. I yeah. love it. I make time for it. It is a priority in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it is a priority. It is. <laughs> you posted on Facebook, like, what would it be like to be bored? And I was like, I love being bored. <laughs> I would love to be bored. I just, I wish I would l allow myself because I'm always like, I could do this, I could do that. Yeah. I could put more grout in the, the tile and clean it. Mm -hmm. I need to do the dishes, but I'm going to watch this TV show. <laughs> Okay, so this one is from Ellie May, and she has some fun stories from past and present pregnancies, things that made you mad, cry, pee your pants, just all of the things. Oh, mm. I don't know what rating we're allowed to get to on this show. <laughs> I, <clears throat> this pregnancy and with Winston too, have been the honoriest, meanest, moodiest person. Everybody <laughs> raise your hand if you believe I that. I know you might not. <laughs> I know you might not, but... She did punch me in the face before we started. <laughs> I want to punch people in the face. <laughs> not you guys. Mostly just my family. Mostly just like my poor, poor family. <laughs> just mostly the people who mostly love me just, the most. You know, I know. My children. <laughs> Why does that happen with the people that you love the most? You can be the maddest, but love them the most at the same I time. I don't know. I just did a pregnancy update a couple of weeks ago, and, and I talked about this. Like, It's like this monster inside of me that I can't control. Mm -hmm. It's just like... This one. Hormones are real. real. Like, and they're real crazy this time. That's funny. That is anyway. funny. Hormones are a thing. I'm more of a crier. The other day we were talking about, I don't even know what, Jackson didn't say anything wrong, and it hurt my feelings so bad. I had to put my sunglasses on because I couldn't control my face. It was like <laughs> somebody was inside of my face pulling it back, and it was sucking all my parts into one hole. And I was doing this, and I was crying so hard, and I'm chubby, so I had like all the chins. <laughs> And I was like, my husband cannot see me be this awfully ugly. So I put on my glasses and like tried to turn. Jackson's like, you know that's glass and it's reflecting and I can see you. And then it made me cry worse because he could see the full, the face pulling that was going on. And I was just trying to like hide my face crying. And I was like, that sucks. That's so funny. Ask me what I cried about. I think it was about like him, him literally saying like, we should sit down and make like a financial plan. And I was like... <laughs> I just started crying and it like, he's like, what did I say? I was like, you just hurt my feelings. He's like, I know, but like what part of that hurt your feelings? I was like, all of it. All of it. Every single word. 
And then I was like, I hate myself right now. Isn't it so funny? I don't get emotional towards my Casey. My hurts so much. He doesn't right hurt now. my feelings at all. He just makes me mad. Everything hurts it's my just, feelings. It is just emotions and hormones. It just go wild. And what makes it worse? When they're like, are you? Oh, then he said, are you just feeling hormonal right now? And then it was like, and then it's like the what? face pull came out and I was like, what? Like, was like, Should I pull over? Or are we going to fight? Like he was a little afraid for his life. You called me what right now? Oh, Rowing your child. So funny. Oh, what's so funny is I, I, I just that. feel like I've just been there. <laughs> Not really ready to go back. <laughs> you forget or like every pregnancy is so different. When I was pregnant with Braylee and Gage, I felt happier. Like I was in a better mood. I felt like, my hormones were more balanced and uh -huh. I was just like like everything was good and then I got pregnant with Winston and I thought it was just because I didn't feel good and this time I'm just like <laughs> oh really <Watch> out. <laughs> oh I hate it though because it's like it's almost like you know it's like an out-of-body experience mm -hmm. like yeah. you can see your regular self and being like this is ridiculous you should stop crying about this <laughs> like you're fully aware but then but you're you like can't, can't stop. stop it and you're just like like the other day I was like in my closet having a tissy fit like I'm so fat and I'm sweaty my boobs are resting in my belly and I was just like <laughs> in there just like doing this to myself and so I threw my shoe because I was so mad and it knocked all my jewelry off and then I was pissed that that happened and then this thing fell and hit me and I was like I hate my life and Jackson heard me and then I was like oh my God. And then he probably was like I never want to have a baby with this lady again he's like did you just throw your shoe at yourself I was like I didn't mean to and then I made him he was like do you want me to clean up the jewelry I'm like yes <laughs> so I just exposed funny. way too much about myself I know that's I'm one of my goals though is to like be less filtered because I imagine I have tried to be filtered but now I'm just like I'm not gonna do it um peeing your pants like that I happens have, that hasn't happened to me and I kind of feel a little robbed and like I've sneezed and I coughed think it's the more babies you have the yeah. more you'll pee <laughs> or admit, I pee a lot but I never have peed myself this is the thing like I am I never have peed my pants with pregnancies and I was just walking one day this pregnancy and I peed my pants <laughs> not you full did? not like everything but I was just like was that pee <laughs> I was like, I think I just peed a little. <laughs> I'm sweating. Sorry if you can feel that. But just I keep your hand there. He'll kick. <laughs> I'm focusing, guys. Sorry. Continue I'm just all down in it. Pregnancy is it's I'm awesome, baby. but your Kicking. body just like takes a back seat. Like we've, yeah. I feel like you being. You have no control over Elliot, I feel like I, he, I, he did kick, but then maybe it's because I was laughing and it tightened. Yeah. yeah. You'll get it anyways. <laughs> Do you have any I'm more questions? i stay like this the oh, whole time. Yes. Okay. I have one last quick one. This is from Leah Bernadette 7. What are some names you were going to choose for your children but decided against? Oh. I was going to name Emmy Lydia. It was either Lydia or Emmy. And we decided in the hospital. Like, we were still debating back and forth until she came out and they put her in my arms. So I was like, oh, my gosh, it's Emmy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that such a great yeah. feeling? Like, yeah. Yes. It was awesome. I never felt that. Really? With Winston was the only one we had named. Mm -hmm. And with Braylee and Gage, I looked at them and I was like, what is your name? <laughs> We were like leaving the hospital. I was like, we have to decide. We have to That's what I'm right worried now. about because we're like so determined on Elliot. Like we've been calling him that and we both feel so good. And I'm like, how does it happen that we both like like that name yeah. and no, neither right. one of us? That's so fun. Probably but what if he comes and I'm like, you're not an Elliot. You're a Sam. No, he will be. Well, not. that was like yeah. um, Avia. Like we knew it was yeah. going to be Avia, Avia forever. And so we always called her Avia. So she was Avia when she yeah. came out. It was like, yeah. I love it. That's how much she was too. And you just, it felt good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was just who he was. Right. Do you have any other names? Yeah, Gavin was going to be either Gavin or Taysom. Taysen. Taysen with an N. Well, that's cute. Taysen. I love Gavin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have names. Hiccup, sorry. I have names, but I don't want to, like. Right, because you, you know? might use them. Yeah. I'm not yeah. done. I'm not done breeding with my husband. Yeah, I'm probably <laughs> not using any of those names, so. <laughs> no, feel free. Yeah. Except uh, for I do, they do have a cousin named Taysa now. So oh, they my brother do? used that name. Okay. That is hard with such a big family. Like Jackson has a huger family than we have because his mom comes from 10 kids. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's like all the names that we did like, it was like, oh, my cousin's daughter's dog's name right. is that. I'm yep. like, okay. Um, with Braylee, we liked the names Gracie and Ashlyn and Ashton. Mm -hmm. But the names we had on our list when we were going to have her was Braylee, Macy, Oh, cute. Avery. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. And I'm trying to think if there were any others. Maybe Ashton was still on the list because I really liked that. And then when I got pregnant with Gage, none of those names were on the list for us if we were going to have a girl. And I can't remember the girl names. Um, Gage was either going to be <clears throat> Gage, Marcus, K, 
cash or case. Oh, I like cash. Oh, yeah, that's cute. And we went with Gage. And Winston was always Winston. And I this still baby? have a huge list of names for this baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I always text you, you should name her this. You yeah. should name her this. <laughs> it's so hard because I really like a name that's different and my family does not like it. Um, Casey has a name that he really likes. And I like it too, but I think it's a name that you like. Oh, my dad's mom? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, we can't. And, I told um, him I will cut him. <laughs> I will cut him. You can't do that. And he doesn't want the whole name. He just, the middle? Yeah. I'll just say it. Cause I, my dad's mom's name is Clara Jane. And if we're having a girl, her, we're going to name her Clara. Because I love, I had the biggest crush on this boy in high school named John Michael. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea of like two names as one. And mm -hmm. it wasn't, you didn't call him Michael or John. It was John Michael. And I love that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I like the idea of having a two name as one name. I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. so different. So, um, and no one has named any of their kids after my dad's mom. And my dad's mom I'm passed surprised. away. Yeah, me too. It's such a cute name. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, if we have a girl, we're naming her Clara Jane. And then we'll call her Janie or Clara Jane. I just think it's so cute. And it's like old fashioned. Yeah. And just, yeah. I just love it. But Casey really wants to name her Jane. That's and so cute. And I like it, but I'm like, well, that's what Carly wants. That's okay. I'll still name my daughter Clara Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that was fun. It was yes. fun. I love Twitter questions. These were like, we've done so many Twitter questions and so many Instagram Q and A's, but I feel like these were like genuinely really good suggestions. Mm -hmm. So good job, you guys. And not that your other ones were bad. They weren't. <laughs> your other ones sucked. Come up with better ones. <laughs> but like, it's hard not it's to like, content. you know, ask the same things or if you haven't watched episodes. So anyways, good job on today's questions. I felt like they were like, yes. Things that we haven't really kind of talked about in a long time. So yeah. that was fun. Mm -hmm. But thank you for guys for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more Moms You. We also love hearing from you guys down in the comments below. And we will see you next time. Bye.